Hello, we are Andri and Susaf, and this is our video presentation entitled Linear Control System for Airplane Pitch and Roll Movement. As you can see, we are doing our project on MATLAB uh, software and also in review software. Uh, there are four parts in our uh, application. First is system design. And the second is system analysis. Uh, the third is control design. And the last is observer design. In system design, we can define our input uh, based on state space model or transfer function model. In state space model, we need to input uh, our ABCD matrix, uh, each for roll and pitch movement. And in transfer function, we need to put numerator and denumerator for either uh, pitch and roll movement. And also, we need to describe our sampling time uh, for discrete, uh, sam discrete system. And after that, we can choose between pitch and roll movement what we will uh, want to display on the right tab which which is show that uh, white uh, tab is continuous uh, system and on the blue tab uh, it is a discrete system after finish defining our system we can show the result by click the run button and then it will show the state space and the transform function on the right tab whether in continuous or in the discrete time. Okay, then when we switch to roll, uh, we, it will also show the state space in the continuous and in the discrete time. And please be noticed, when we input transfer function as our system, it may be show different state space ABCD matrix because ABCD matrix is not unique but the transfer function will always be the same. In our system analysis, we provide with the information for our controllability and also the observability. If the light is green, then our system is controllable or observable. But if the light is dim, then the system is not controllable or not observable. We also provide it with the info of system stability and it show that our system is marginal stable for pitch control and our system is asymptotically stable for the roll movement. In the left part, we show that there are a road locus uh, diagram for our system and also there are pole zero S plan for our system. And then next, we also show the system response for impulse input and also for the step input and we also show the step trajectory that show the change of step x over time because there are three third order system for our pitch control it just show that there are x1 x2 and x3 but in roll system, there are uh, four step X, X1, X2, X3, and X4 because our system is in fourth order. After we analyze our system and got information that our system is controllable and observable, we can move on to the system, uh, controller design and then we will get information for our polls from system analysis. Later on, we can define our controller whether we want to use pole placement or LTR. In pole placement, we need to define the desired eigenvalue for our controller. And in LTR controller, we need to define weighting factor for Q and R. In our controller, we define Q as 50 for pitch movement and 75 
for roll movement and we define R as 1 for both roll and pitch movement and after that it automatically calculate the gain for our controller as shown in this tab 1 and tab 2 for the last part we build our observer using Kalman estimator for the observer we need to describe the noise covariance G Q and R and it will automatically calculate the L as observer gain in discrete and continuous time for both pitch and roll movement and then it can show the graphic uh, after we put the initial condition for our system here we put as matrix 1 1 2 and 3 for our system and then we got the result in the right graphic okay for this part we will show you the block diagram of our application as you can see before there is four step uh, system design system analysis control design and observer design on our front block diagram this is the whole block diagram for our application or the system design part is here and here this is for input and selector for state space or transfer function and this part to show you the equation viewer in the front panel before and for the next step is the system analysis in here you can see the, the result of the step response, impulse response, rot locus, controllability, observability, also the system stability checker. And uh, the next one is the con controller design. In here, this part is uh, our block for controller. In here you can see this is pole placement and this is for the LQR. And the last one is the observer design. We use the stat, uh, Kalman estimator in here using the tool toolbox. And after we get the observer gain, we can do the simulation of the Kalman estimator in here. All of the block diagram here is using toolbox that provided by LabVIEW. Now we can move on to our second lab view simulation. This is airplane model response.v and it show four diagram. Each diagram for describing open loop and closed loop diagram for each pitch and roll movement. And then we can run it and it show the response for pitch and roll movement and then when we click double click the system it will show the block diagram for each system and we also develop the controller in MATLAB we can show you this is the step response for pitch and roll movement and then after that we also can show you the step response for pitch and roll movement using this is uh, this is the pitch linear simulation result with the observer for pitch movement and then there are roll linear control system with the observer for the roll movement now we also show you the airplane pitch and this is the real time and estimated output using the common estimator and then there are the linear simulation result for the pole placement and 
uh, compared to the common filter. And now we are developing After we finish designing our controller in LTR method, we can implement our design to a simulation. This is the original code for simulation in horizontal indicator. Thanks to LOD rocks from, Fra from France, we got this uh, quote from his website and we modify the code to Define to give you the description of our work. This is the result for our horizon indicator. It shows that the horizon the plane will move according to the input we described before. Our input is 0.2 radian for each pitch and roll movement. And also we can show you that the movement in 3D display okay this is the movement of our aircraft using the Boeing 747 model this is the observer simulation using Kalman estimator. As we shown you before, we need to define the ABCD state space matrix, and then also we need to define the noise covariance. After that, it will generate the simulation with the sinusoid and also the pulse input. And in the left part, it will show the graphical simulation for the Kalman estimator. It shows that the estimated output is nearly the same with the original output. Okay, this is all for our work. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.